laser warnings. Potentially even more to United over this side. Okay, we need to pull back from the tree line. Right, we have firefights breaking out. Okay. At least the infantry managed to take out one of the T90s, so that's pretty good for us. Those guys moved up. Okay. Wow. There is a lot going on over here. Do these mortars have any effects? Mm, not really, but if there's anything in that tree line, it's not now. Right. I mean, at least we managed to take out one T90. Over there. Yeah, that infantry should have been on that angle. Really have to take into account the bloody terrain, don't you? Wait, wait, sorry. Okay. Right, so that Abrams is up now. Now what do we do with it? Not entirely sure. I think I may have it hunt towards that position. We need to know what's going on over here. So if these guys could hunt over here and just try and figure it out, that'd be fantastic. Right, we still have this Abrams actually. I missed that one. Or did I? Where's that other Abrams? Don't tell me I lost an Abrams. What happened here? Damn, I can't go back. I've not seen a wreck. There's a dead... No, this is a... Oh, it's alive. I guess it just must not have gone through with the orders. I did give it hunt orders, so that's fair enough. Um, I think if we have him advance, we might be able to get shots. Okay, that'd be a decent position. Yes, okay. This is going to be interesting. We're going to have to destroy these guys. We're going to try and have to back off and try and let the infantry do their work. But yeah, we need to take absolute care of what little we have left. Especially the Abrams. Okay, infantry is fighting out over there. They took a lot of casualties. Laser warning. That's not good. That's not good. Okay, smoke up. Um... Yeah, try and set, well, make distance between us and the infantry. That's a lot of smoke. So actually, it might be decent to have these Bradleys um, hidden behind the tree line. That... Oh, sh shit. Oh, don't tell me. Okay, that was that. Okay, you're still good, you're still good. Oh, thank god. What is this thing doing here? Is it knocked out? Is it dead? It... Seems live. Especially as it's... Machine gun is aiming that way. I've no idea if this is alive or dead. Who spotted this? Spotted by that crew. Okay. Ah, shit, I wish this thing was alive. We have a lot of T-90s coming our way. All in all, it may actually work out better for us to try and stay within this area. See what goes on. Hopefully we don't lose anything. That's dangerous. I really don't want to lose that Abrams. So we might actually reverse. We'll reverse. Something to like over here, actually. 
try and get all the way back. I may actually move this guy up here. Then at least we can try and ambush something as it comes out. It did work fairly well. Do you have a live Bradley? Um, it's the same idea. Then look that way. At least we can try and get a flank going on. Okay, we still have javelins. Look that direction. Yeah, they've just not been in this great position for it, have they? I could try and move these guys up over that way. Try and get them to a better position. That could be... Actually, no. I've got an idea. If we have these guys um, move up over here. Can try and take out that T90. That would be fantastic. Right. In all the excitement, I forgot to say welcome to the next episode. So it's a little bit late, but welcome. <laughs> We're currently experiencing the uh, charge of the Iron Brigade. More infantry moving up. These are all crews. No, I fucking knew it. Fucking knew it. Abrams down. Fuck me. Nasty buggers. Partial penetration. Ah. Laser warnings. Ah, uh, mother fucker. How many T90s do they get? This is insane. I think I've lost all my Abrams now. Maybe like one left. That could not have gone worse. Fuck's sake. If that thing hadn't survived, then we wouldn't have lost our tank. God fucking damn it. Maybe it's disabled, as in the tracks, but goddamn. Uh, right, third platoon HQ survived, actually. So what do we have left then? I think we just basically have Bradley's left now. I. You need to look that other way. So many things could have been different if we had the infantry in the right spot. I genuinely did not expect us to not know it was coming until it hit. I really thought we'd be able to spot this, especially with these guys over here, but this slope really fucking screwed me. I did not anticipate they'd have this much in the way of armor, though. Laser warnings. Rounds coming down. Now, if the infantry could distract them or something, just long enough for the Bradleys to open fire, but that's not gonna happen. Yeah. What's going on here? Really, mate. I'm sure I gave you an order to turn round. Right, penetration. Yeah, bit late there, mate. Bit late. That's still up, but it's not spotted anything. The infantry screwed up. Yeah, we're absolutely destroyed here. We got absolutely overwhelmed. Pretty much GG as we see another wave rolling up on us. My god, I'll have to probably re well, retry this mission in the future, but bloody hell. I've developed something of a healthy respect for Russian armor. There's not exactly too much left to be done here, really. I'm going to be interested to see the losses in the after action. Yeah, really not anything left for us. Just too many T90s. 
If the terrain had been different, then it would have been a bloodbath. Yeah. If these things use their toes a little bit better, then that'd be great as well, but ah uh, well. Yeah, just look at that, the sheer amount of tanks moving in on us. Look at that, just a group of four of them. Just absolutely insane. Ah, yeah, they're moving up the road. See, this is what I would have expected, so we would have had some uh, knowledge of what was coming. Oh, actually... Ah. Odd. I'm surprised that we had zero air support. Those rounds are landing close to them, though. They may kill themselves with their own artillery. At least that'd be lovely if they did. Um, I don't know if we'll get the chance to try and bombard, but we're going to try and do it with these bloody... Oh, come on! It's right there! Take a gander! I find it so irritating with mortars. It's like, um... Yeah, I'm sure you could give them coordinates. Oh, thank God for that. Emergency. Request fire mission over. Yeah, if you even live. Fire mission over. I'd be amazed if they lived. Look in that goddamn direction. It's going to be a while before any mortars come down, but at least if they stay in that position, we might be able to take something out. Oh, yeah. Wow, he got run over. You could use your AT4s if you have any. No, you don't actually have any. Fair enough. To be fair, I'd... I don't blame them. Right. Come on, artillery. Poor guy. Bloody hell. Fire perfect. Jesus. Come on, we need to shells down range. Yes! Yes! Come on, more of those! Could get some shells down range, this would be... We might take something out, we might damage them, I don't know. Let's try and get some payback. Come on, mortars. There, I need them there. Please. Hurry, more, faster, here, please. God, it's so many T90s. Come on. What are they hitting, the tank? Wow, you bloody tool. Come on, they're right here. <laughs> Ah, oh, there we go. Slightly better. Roger. Fire perfect. Bloody hell. How is that Bradley not spot in this? It's there. <laughs> Look that way. I've told you 15 times. Bloody hell. Could you use him to call in even more artillery? No line of sight. Fucking line of sight, man. Just guess. The fucking road. Where all the smoke is. Use a bit of common sense. 
We are absolutely beaten here. Unless we gain magical reinforcements, we are absolutely done. But I want to see these mortars land, and I want to see them land hard. If we get any mortars to do some damage, that'd be great. Maybe if that Bradley could fire off a tow missile. Yeah, we just don't have enough mortars to make this effective. Oh well. Yeah, that is not accurate enough. Surprising, considering the range. Mate, mate, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're gonna get yourself killed. Oh! Right. Ooh, top of the hill. Right, that's dead. Did you kill that? No, you didn't. But I think we did get a kill, actually, We here with one of the bolters. Oh, it was! Wow! Right on target! Oh, fantastic! Well, at least you killed one of them. Can add that to the tally. Ah, brilliant. I just... I just can't get over how many T90s. <laughs> so many T90s. The terrain, my god, the terrain has grouped me. Yeah, we just have nothing left. Yeah, they're dead as well. This is just execution now. Oh my. Oh. That's, uh, awkward. Yeah. Now, if only you had an AT4. That's pretty awkward. <laughs> oh, so many burning tanks, so many dead men. So, so many. I thought this position was better, I thought that we'd have that, but... Yeah, you have to be about there. If we were about this position, we would have been fine. We probably would have spotted a lot more of it coming, or at least we would have spotted it earlier. Especially from over there. But then again, I probably should have pulled back to this line, but then again, it's like, do you pull back to this line, or do you pull back to this line? If you pull back to this line, you have this problem. We just lost our position. So I think what we should probably have done really is had some vehicles over this area. Which might have been a lot better actually, but then again we were facing the problems of ATGM spotting us. Yeah, here would have been not so great at all. The terrain just really isn't that good. Oh my. We might, um... Hang on a little while longer than surrender, actually. I just don't think I have anything left. At all. But we did take out a tank with a mortar, so that's pretty good going. Landed right on top of the baby as well. Oh! 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 Oh, well done! Well done! You killed one of them. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh. You scared the shit out of your commanding officer, but well done. That was really well done, actually. Who did that? Oh, it was you! Oh, fantastic! Well, at least we're still fighting. The javelin coming in. He died for that, but at least he took out a T-90. Whatever happens, I mean, we have lost here, but the, the Russians did take a huge amount of losses here. Okay. Ooh. That was, uh, 
That was something. Oh, I don't know if we have anything left to give. Almost all dead. Almost all dead. Oh, the M25 CDT. Really like that thing. Yeah. I think we're done for. So, we'll surrender. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, we had 77 men killed, 38 were wounded, 34 survived. However, the Russians um, had 84 men killed, 28 wounded. Yeah, they did have a lot of guys. They lost 21 tanks. 21 tanks, 5 armoured vehicles, and 10 other vehicles. They took some big losses there. But yeah, we just, we just got absolutely slaughtered, just far, far too much. Right, so let's review the battlefield then. Yeah, we just didn't have anything left to give. I don't think we had any more reinforcements. But just a mass wave of T-90s just absolutely destroyed us. If these guys have been on hunting, then perhaps... I mean, look at this guy. This guy took out three T-90s. He took out four T-90s. We just got unlucky with the losses of the Bradleys to begin with. It really did. Yeah, a lot of our Bradleys didn't get to do anything. That guy took out a T90. Yeah, three, four. Just, we needed that brutal economics to work in our favour, but it just didn't. <laughs> they had far too many vehicles for that to work out for us, and we just did not have the position in. But that was a fantastic shot over here by that Abrams on the flank. If we look here, we can see um, it went in here. About then, perhaps, we see the exit here. Exited, and um, where did it hit? Kind of that. I'm going to kind of take that one as a ricochet, I guess. But a two for one. A two for. But we did take a lot of them down. A lot of them. I mean, 21 tanks in total, that's a huge loss. I don't know what the ratio of economics is there, but yeah. I mean, bloody hell, they had snipers. Two sniper teams. MGs. Moving into this town would have been really hard. But then again, we took out these armoured vehicles as well. That guy never moved up again. Yeah, we just got slammed. Just got absolutely slammed. Can see over here. Oh, those bastards. That must have been what was spotting us. Air control. Ha. Huh. Did they have UAVs? They might have had UAVs actually. Right. That's the crew. So that is a very interesting scenario. I think I will have to replay this. Um, I don't know. You guys are. Um... Yeah, I'll have to maybe have some kind of vote or something, but if you guys want to see this again, and see us try and do this properly, at least we know what we're up against now, then please do comment down below. I might have some kind of stroll poll, but I am fairly lazy, so we'll have to see about that one. But I'd love to know where they were massing. Right, can I go back much further? Hmm. No, only to the beginning. But yeah, we had T-90s chilling out over here. They didn't do very well. This guy. Ah, it was dangerous. So we had M1A2s. Yeah, that bastard. That bastard right there is one of the first ones, isn't it? He killed four Bradleys and a Humvee. So he's one of the first ones. Bradley. Yeah, I'm glad that we managed to take out this guy at the end. That was pretty badass. Trying to get to the moment where that happens. I should see the uh, javelin in air. There we go. So you can see the javelin over here. Kinda. I might have to zoom in on that one. Kinda. There we go. That's the best I'm gonna get. Still pretty badass. But my god, we were just completely outnumbered here. The positioning was terrible on our side. You look at the Russian uh, terrain over here, it's a very gentle slope, actually. Very gentle. 
And they had a fantastic position over here. If we had a position like this, then we would have seen them probably be about halfway, maybe about this area here. As you can see, our hill was more steep. It's so more of a stream incline. And we should have really had our position uh, forwards. Mm. A couple meters forwards, we might have had a better chance of spotting things. But yeah, oh. So goddamn much. What do we have over here? Crew. Right, lots of crew. We did manage to take out a lot of vehicles, and I am happy about that one. What the hell was spotting us then, this entire time? Right, first squad. Hmm. Reconnaissance Company Headquarters. So they had night vision, binoculars, Toon HQ. And we never knew about these guys, never knew. Had zero inklings. Yeah. What's in here? Yeah, right, yeah, so that's the air control. Hmm. I do have to wonder if they had a UAV. I feel like they may have had a UAV. If they have air control, I'd probably indicate a UAV or something like that. But anyway, guys, that was Valley of Death. Ah, oh, my. They had set full losses. Are you kidding me? My, my. Can we see the points that we got here? Hmm. Yeah, first cavalry. So they got uh, these points for taking the ground. Tem armored. Enemy casualties. Yeah, they just had a lot more points than us. Well then, guys, thank you so much for watching, and um, yes, until next time, uh, I have been me, uh, you have been you, uh, this has been Combat Mission Black Sea, and I hope you've enjoyed this. You can definitely see how the game plays out, so thank you so much, and I hope you've enjoyed this, and until next time, do not forget to subscribe, and uh, goodbye for now.